Hey, my name is Dan. This particular video is a free video from my full course on HTML5 banner advertising using Adobe Animate. There are also free files and I've got some finished files that I save after each YouTube video that you can download from my website. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. All right, let's get on to some banner making. Hi, this video we're going to look at the transform tool. The transform tool is this guy here. I'm going to select him. Now it's used for scaling and rotating. Uh, so what I'm going to do is unlock these earlier layers so I can play around with a little bit. So I'm going to click on this crazy looking building here. And you'll notice that the difference is we've got these little edge bits. Okay, and uh, there's a couple of things. If I grab any of the corners, can okay, you see I can kind of stretch it any old sort of way and corner. Um, but what I want to do is hold down shift. If I hold shift, can you see it scales it proportionally rather than kind of like stretching it all sorts of ways. So often you want to scale it proportionately to make a bigger building, great. You'll notice that it scales from the center. It actually scales from this point here. Now, when you are new, you'll end up trying to move that. Say I want to move this to the right here. You'll end up kind of grabbing the center and moving it. And actually, it, you know, what you, you're meant to do this, but you end up dragging this, okay? And this is the center of rotation. So it just means that if I move this down here, and now I scale it holding shift, can you see it scales from that bottom corner there? If I scale it from, if I move it up here in the top left, and I try and use the exact same one, can you see it scales in and out of there? So that's quite interesting, that point here when you are doing animations and you want it to um, enlarge or rotate on a point, and you, this is the point here it's gonna rotate from. So that's scaling. Uh, there's a couple other things you can do with the free transform tool. Um, is can you see if I hover anywhere out of here, the cursor changes to this little kind of round thing with an arrow. If I click and hold and drag it, it's gonna move it around. If I hold shift while I'm dragging it, it will lock it into 90 degree angles. Okay, so that's rotation. There's another one for skew. If I hover above any of these lines here, can you see that double arrow? If I click it and drag it, I can skew it. So I'm gonna go to edit undo. Uh, the only last thing about the free, free transform tool is that uh, if I'm on the move tool or the selection tool, I want to go to the um, a quick way to go into the transform tool is to tap the Q key. If I tap Q, it jumps to that tool there without me having to go and click it and I can start doing my transformations. V is jumping to the selection tool and you know, watch this, V and Q, V and Q. And you'll notice over here that it's toggling between V and Q. Okay. Um, you start learning some shortcuts when you're reusing some tools over and over again. Um, to know what the shortcuts are, you'll see here, it's called the selection tool, and you see in the brackets there, it's got a V. This one here has a Q, and if you're using the type tool, it's a T, and there's lots of ones in here. Um, just hover above them, and they'll tell you what the shortcut is. All right, uh, let's hit save and move on to the next video. All right, that's it for the free video. It was pretty good, right? What I really want you to do now is I want you to go and sign up for my full course. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're keen. I have loads of other good free stuff, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, how did I? Good YouTube people.